Then the band of very valiant retainers came to the current, they were clad all in armor, in link-woven burnies. The land warder noticed the return of the earlmen, as he erstwhile had seen them, nowise with insult he greeted the strangers from the naze of the cliff, but rode on to meet them, said the bright-armored visitors vesselward traveled welcome to wedders. The wide-bosomed craft then lay on the sand, laden with armor, with horses and jewels, the ring-stemmed sailor, the mast uptowered all the treasure of Hrothgar. To the boat ward a gold-bound brand he presented, that he was afterwards honored on the ale bench more highly as the heirloom's owner. Set he out on his vessel, to drive on the deep, Dane country left he. Along by the mast then a sea garment fluttered, a rope fastened sail. The sea boat resounded, the wind or the waters the wave floater nowise kept from its journey, the sea goer travelled, the foamy neck floated forth all the currents, the well fashioned vessel all the ways of the ocean, till they came within sight of the cliffs of the Geatman, the well known headlands. The wave goer hastened, driven by breezes, stood on the shore. Prompt at the ocean, the port ward was ready, who long in the past outlooked in the distance, at water's edge waiting well loved heroes, he bound to the bank then the broad bosom vessel fast in its fetters, lest the force of the waters should be able to injure the ocean would winsome. Bade he up then take the treasure of princes, plate gold and fretwork, not far was it thence to go off in search of the giver of jewels, Prethel's son Higelac at home there remaineth, himself with his comrades close to the sea coast. The building was splendid, the king heroic, great in his hall, Hig very young was, fine mooded, clever, though few were the winters that the daughter of Hereth had dwelt in the borough, but she nowise was cringing nor niggard of presents, of ornaments rare, to the race of the Geatman. Trithona Stanger, excellent five folk queen, hot burning hatred, no hero whatever among household companions, her husband excepted dared to adventure to look at the woman with eyes in the daytime, six but he knew that death chains hand wreathed were wrought him, early thereafter, when the hand strife was over, edges were ready, that fierce raging sword point had to force a decision, murder bale show. Such no womanly custom for a lady to practice, though lovely her person, that a weaver of peace, on pretense of anger a beloved liegeman of life, should deprive. Soothly this hindered Hemming's kinsman, other ale-drinking earlmen asserted that fearful folk sorrows fewer she wrought them, treacherous doings, since first she was given adorned with gold to the war-hero youthful, for her origin honoured, when off as great palace or the fallow flood by her father's instructions she sought on her journey, where she afterwards fully, famed for her virtue, her fate on the king's seat. Enjoyed in her lifetime, love did she hold with the ruler of heroes, the best, it is told me, of all of the earthmen that oceans encompass of earl kindreds endless, hence offer was famous far and widely, by gifts and by battles, spear valiant hero, the home of his fathers he governed with wisdom, when Saomer did issue for help unto heroes, Hemming's kinsman, grandson of Garmund, great in encounters.